What up, folks? I'm Ultrasol, and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts Ultraman Z Original. Ultraman Zetto, right here. That's right from the Ultraman Z series, which is probably my favorite. We have the original form of Zet. That's uh, Alpha Edge, the one he's originally known for. Uh, it comes with option parts in here. And uh, yeah, there hasn't been a representation of this in this form quite yet. I do have some other versions of original, but with this being a general release and me actually being able to get it, <laughs> I went ahead and did just that. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Four accessories, uh, first up, we get a lot of hands. Um, they're pretty good. He comes with fist hands in the package, which I do have over here, uh, because the hands I have on him currently are these, you know, say my name hands. So, yeah, I put them on there. Um, and then you got some uh, pointy finger hands, which is like a thing that they do in like promotions with uh, Zetto. It's funny. Uh, and then you have a two finger hand. Uh, I think this is pointing when like about to do a beam type of thing. Uh, and then you do have like straight up beam hands and more like splayed out hands. I should get in closer. So you can see them better. You get a lot of hands, you know, um, which is great. Really good. A nice amount. And you also get the a very zesty, a zesty and beam here. Uh, and this one is for an option part for Alpha Edge version. Um, you can put it on him as well if you want, you know, but it's, you know, it's supposed to be for Alpha Edge, so let's give you a, uh, it's nice, before we put it on, it's really nice, very nice sculpt, Ow, and sharp, do be careful, it's very, very sharp, um, but really nice sculpt, I like the center here, there's a nice frosted metallic look to it, uh, I do like, and of course you get the hand attached already, so you take your little peg here, ball joint, without breaking it. Okay. Ooh. Tight. And then, you know, pick it up. Give him one of, the, one of these or so. Then you could pop right in there. Uh, and then, you know, he, he could do the zest. The zest beam. <laughs> Kaiju don't stand a chance. So, before we continue, Houston, we have a problem. Um, I'm missing his uh, red color timer. It's supposed to be there. It was not. Uh, it's not that it jumped out. I checked over my unboxing. It's not there. It was not there. Yeah, the, the package was not open or anything. It was just missing. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's bummer. Um, could contact HLJ about it, but I won't because it's honestly not worth the pain in the butt to do whatever I'd have to do uh, because I'm never going to use it. Um, so... But I have to mention it. Go check out my unboxing, my of uh, my latest haul of the week video. Yeah, when I take this out. Didn't he, I didn't even notice before. It's just not in there. That's where it's supposed to be. Not there. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> For articulation, head is on. I believe one of those peg joints. Yep. I don't know what they call those officially, but it moves around a bit. When you move it, this little back spike 
dorsal fin moves as well. You got a really good neck joint, really good upper body joint. Okay, waist joint if you're going back and forth. That's, yeah, it's actually okay, <laughs> side to side. I will say that there's a lot of spots here where, as they say in the little booklets, paint may rub off because a lot of things are hitting into each other. So while I'm not getting a lot of that now, uh, I feel like something that could happen. Uh, this guy has a butterfly joint, which is excellent. A hand and swivel around. And as you saw, this thing got out of its way because it's on its own hinge. This is fantastic. No bicep swivel, but you do have rotation up there. Actually, really good rotate. What? Whoa. I did. I just. I just uncovered how good that is. That completely rotates in this ball. That. That feels better than any other one I've had. That's really good. Okay, you have a double jointed elbow. You have hinged wrists, the legs. Oh, you got to work it in there to do that. But you can't do it. Swivel there. Still don't get why they do it the way they do it. Tamashi, you make things harder than it needs to be sometimes. Double jointed knee. Rocker at the foot. Hinge, and then toe hinge. So uh, pretty great articulation, I do have to say. Um, you know, over here, maybe notwithstanding. I do miss the drop down joints that the Ultra Act have. I mean, that was a long time ago, but I still miss it. And I, and I do like drop down joints when I do find them in other figures. But I think the articulation's pretty good on original. So let's take a look at this guy in full. He's pretty good. I like him. Like I said, though, watch out for paint rub. That could happen. Um, Looks-wise, I do think this is good. Color timer that I do have is in blue. That looks good. Nice translucent plastic. Got black up there. Then the rest of the chest looks pretty good. Black down here. Silver around it. I like the shoulder pads here. A little red dot on that. The arms look pretty decent. Nicely sculpted in, nicely painted in. The reds look good. On the back, I like this design a lot. I really do. Um, I like the matte black with the silver around that. And all of it looks pretty clean, I have to say. Dorsal fins look good. Butt looks good. Red there looks good. On his legs, on the inner leg, he's got red too, and black. It's not bad. His knees are really, really, really silver. Is that coming up on camera? It's totally different than this. So I think, I don't know if that's painted or if that's the plastic color. Uh, no, it's got to be painted because the plastic is black in the back. But unless it's like two pieces joined together, it might be. Very silver. Kind of jarring, because it's different than the rest of the silver on this guy. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. But it might be. I mean, I feel like that's such a big difference there that I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I don't, I don't mind it. It looks good. I'm just saying. Just pointing it out. Uh, down the leg, pretty good. Not bad. Not seeing anything hateful here. Back of the legs look good. He's got... Red at the tips of his toes, which I like. And then the neck looks really nice. And the head sculpt in total is pretty good. Nice silver, nice sculpt. This thing, I keep popping it out from the bottom here. Great. <laughs> but really good sculpt on the head. Let's zoom in a little bit. I like it. And I like the compound eyes pretty good yeah 
that original looks very, very nice, I do have to say. Um, not finding much wrong here. My only, I don't know, I don't think it's a gripe, but right now I just, the really silver knees are throwing me off, but I, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that, but, um, otherwise, yeah, it looks pretty good, guys. I do like it a lot. And I checked it. He, uh, does not have glossy knees, so <laughs> your mileage is gonna vary on how you feel about that. For me, it's a bit distracting. <laughs> For your size comparisons, here is Ultraman Z Original with some other Ultraman Z figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, well, I do have a big glaring issue now, don't I? Um, <laughs> the color timing completely not being in the package is a big bummer, uh, there's no doubt about it. However, the figure itself is pretty good, I do like it. Um, I do. I, I do think they need to rework a lot of their, uh, like, leg articulation, um, because it's a little weird, right? Um, and in a lot of spots on this figure, there's definitely areas where it could paint realm. I don't have it, but it could. So, you know, there's that. Uh, and then the knees are very, very different in every place else, uh, with the silver, so... <laughs> That's a little bit odd, it, uh, you know, I, I tell you, that bothers me a little bit more, and it's not really a bother, it's just more glaring than the color timer being missing, because the color timer being missy, missing while it's like, what happened there? Uh, definitely a manufacturing error, packing error. Um, uh, it doesn't bother me because I hate swapping those things out. And I usually don't, so it's one of those. I did get, uh, I did send HLJ a notice of that. I don't know if they'll be able to do anything. We shall see. Um, but you know, it, they need to know about it. You know, at the very least, because uh, you know, that that's that's a bummer. You know, it is a bummer. It is a bummer. You you want to get what you paid for, at least, right? Um, so there you go guys, that's my review. The figure itself is good though. Comes with a lot of hands, the beam is great. So the zesty and beam is very zesty. Uh, and there you have it, that's my review. Hope you dug it, let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe, till next time, peace out.